Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormick and welcome to the Lightroom Blog channel. We're going to look at something in Library today for Lightroom Tuesday and that is looking at cells in grid view. Hi folks, welcome to the channel and today we're just going to look at something about how you can view information in your cells. This actually came up as uh, something on the Photoshop and Lightroom group on Facebook recently. So I'm just going to talk you through what goes on with the actual cells themselves inside Lightroom. So we're in grid view and we can see a very basic set of cells. Now straight off the bat, we can change the size of the cells using this thumbnail sliders down here. And if you can't see that, it's in the toolbar here, you select thumbnail size. And if you can't see the toolbar, you press T to toggle the toolbar on and off. So using plus and minus, we can change the size of our thumbnails. Now, this is a very bare view, and it's not even the compact view, it's like the most compact view, but there's three different views. So there's this very basic view, there's the compact view, which has some information on it, and then there's the expanded view, which has even more information on it. And you can set up this stuff, some of it can be set up in the actual uh, cells themselves, and some of it can be set up just through the view options. So that's just toggling between them there. So if you go to, that's J for that. So if you go to Command J or Control J on PC, this brings up the grid view options. Now there are loop view options in there as well. If we click loop view, it will click jump to loop view uh, as we do that. So straight off the bat here, we can see we've got compact cells selected here. We show get grid extras. So you can actually turn those grid extras off and it'll give you back to the compact look. And if you move down here to expanded cells, you can turn it off in expanded cells as well. So it's very easy to switch between them as you're setting them up. And um, so you don't have to go out of the dialog to do it. So let's go through some of the stuff that's in here. Okay, there are some options that are for the compact cells and for the expanded cells separate, but there are some stuff that apply to both. So show clickable items and mouse over only. That is stuff like the, uh, <clears throat> sorry, these rotation icons. So as we hover over the show, so command you to come back. If we actually turn them off, we can see that those they come up and are there permanently. Now, the reason why they're either hoverable and you want to be able to hide them is just that, you know, to be honest with you, they're kind of, you know, ugly. So, I mean, they're not, you know, ugly icons, but just that they don't look good in the cells themselves. So they're hidden away and best viewed so that you don't accidentally click on them as well. So tint grid cells with label colors. So if I'm here and let's say I choose this image here, or just choose a random image and give it a six for to give it a red label. We can see it's set, we've been told, but we've no indicator that it's actually red. And if we move away from it, there's still no indicator. But however, if we go back in and command J again for a quick look and we tint, we can see that this one now has a color around it and this one here, which is also colored. So this is the selected version, which just has a frame. And this one is the whole border itself becomes red rather than gray. And of course you can choose the intensity of the color so you can have it very subtle, which is very, very subtle, or you can have it very, very intense, or you can just leave it on to default, which is 20%. I generally leave it on so I can see those colors really easily. Now show image info tooltips is when you hover over an image, it'll actually show you information about it. Now it can take a little bit for this information to show up. And I'm just going to turn it off just in case it's related to that. And there we go. So it'll be a little tooltip showing information about it. So the cell icons themselves, so we can see that we have flags. We can turn on and off our flags, our thumbnail badges, our quick collection markers. All right. So what they are is I'll just show you them for a second. This little circle here, clicking on that will toggle it to be part of the quick collection. Or if you're using a target collection instead, it sends it to the target collection. And then we have the unsaved metadata. Generally speaking, if you do any edits, you'll have unsaved metadata and then you'll have to save it out to XMP to get rid of this. I don't generally save out to XMP unless I need to, so I leave that one turned off because otherwise I'll be looking at it on all of my edited files. So now we have the compact cell extras and we're in compact view here, so it's pretty easy to see what's going on. So we have the index number. Okay, we have rotation, which we've seen there on hover. So if we actually uh, show them as clickable, we can actually turn them on and off from there as well. And then we have the top label, uh, which is directly above the image here. And then we have the bottom label, which is currently set to caption. That's not the default by any means, stretch of the imagination. 
So you could have it on common attributes, for example, or capture time and day. Oh, that was meant to be the other one. So let me just do that to the other one. So that's the information that's directly above or below. So it's not in this top or bottom section here. Now, there are also the expanded cells. So if we click here to jump to expanded cells, we can see that. So you can have the index number, which is the smaller number here. Again, that can be changed for anything you want. So you can have that, that could be the label, for example, or your lens settings. Okay, and then we have the file name could be the file extension, the copy name, etc, etc. Just, you can see you've got these lists of files or these options for the files. So you could have exposure program or ISO, or you could have uh, the common photo settings, which will pretty much show whatever was used for the whole thing. And then of course the file extension can show as well. Now these are obviously taking up an awful lot of space here. So you just have exposure and ISO, for example, there. So it'll let you know what's going on with that. Okay, down below that, you've got the show photo rating. So that's th these ratings that you literally see here. Okay, and then you can also include the color label in it as well. And you can include the rotation buttons down here. So again, if we turn off the clickable thing, we'll see them show up here. Now, just so you can see what's going on as well here, you can, of course, turn on and off your flags from here. You can also set your star ratings from here. And of course you can click and you can set labels. So it's not just a matter of them being something that's visible within it. You can also use them as tools within themselves themselves. And um, if you click on the badge that will now take you into develop because that's basically what it's going to do. So I'm just going to go to grid again. And this one here has a crop little badge on it. So that will bring you into crop. Press return to go there and press G to go back. And then here we see that there's collections. So if we click on uh, the link here, we'll see those are the collections that that is currently in. Now there are two other badges that you can have as well, which is a map badge and it should be a keyword badge. I'm just going to check if there's keywords on this. All right, there's no keywords on this. There really should be keywords on this. So Lake District. Okay. And we can see the thing that looks like a little shopping tag. So that's keywording. And um, let me think about where something that will be easy to get. I have to remember the name of these places now. So if I go to map here for a second. So here we have Castle Rig, and so it was kind of taken from roughly here. So I grab this, which way it's facing. So the mountains are back that way. So that means that this one was taken from here somewhere. Just drag it onto there, taken there. All right, so if I now go back to G for Grid, we can see that this now has this little map badge on there as well. So that will then, if you click on that, it'll go into map at that point. So just to show you the badges that are there as well, that you can have in the grid. So folks, that is a look at the grid view options that you have, as well as a little quick look at badges as well. Hopefully you found that useful. If you did, please do give the video a like. If you're not subscribed, and I can see that 88% of the people who watch these videos are not subscribed, please do consider subscribing. There's stuff out on Tuesdays and Fridays and lots of bonus videos as well. If you are subscribed and you want notifications, please do hit the bell. Thank you for taking time to watch this, folks, and I will see you in the next video.